hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous uh, video we discussed uh, the basic time shifting operations uh, directly performed on a basic test signals that is the unit step ramp and impulse signal in this video we are going to perform some time shifting operations on some uh, random signals uh, with uh, different shapes and will perform time shifting operations. So here we have this uh, M shaped signal okay XT and we have to uh, perform the time shifting operations okay. So let us first do this operation let's say X T minus 3 okay sorry x t plus 3 okay first let's do plus and then we'll do minus okay so here the sign convention if we want to perform the shifting operation directly we have to follow the sign convention i have already told you when we see this kind of an expression time shifted expression the plus sign it means that the shifting will take place to the left and the value after the sign it gives us by how many units the shifting will take place so here the shifting will take place to the left by 3 units okay so here what we have to do is okay plus means left by 3 units plus 3 so here what we have to do we have to pick the starting point and the ending point of the signal here the signal exists this M shaped signal exists between 1 and 3 these are the two points it is the starting point it is the ending point now as this signal xt plus 3 will shift to the left okay to the left by 3 units what we have to do is that we'll subtract 3 from 1 and here 3 from 3 okay so this will give us the new starting point and the new ending point of the shifted signal which is minus 2 and 0 so the new shifted signal it will start from minus 2 and it will end at 0 but the shape will stay the same okay minus 2 0 so let us see how this shifted signal will look like so you are clear you pick the starting and ending points of the signal which is given xt depending on the shifting plus 3 plus means to the left by 3 units we subtract 3 from the starting point 1 and the ending point 3 which gives us the new starting point and ending point of the shifted signal so the shifted signal it will look something like this x t plus 3 0 minus 1 minus 2 ok so it will start at minus 2 and end at 0 this is the shifted signal this also exists here okay now everything remains the same the shape of the signal the amplitude of the signal everything will stay intact only the starting and ending points of the signal will change because of the shifting from minus 2 
and ending at 0. Here it was from 1 to 3, here it is from minus 2 to 0. So, this is the time shifting operation. Now, let us do in the other direction. Okay. So, now let us perform the shifting in the other direction. Let us say x t minus 1. So, here again the sign convention minus means the shifting will take place in the right side towards right by this number it means by 1 unit. So, again we will use the same approach we will take the starting and the ending points of the signal which are 1 and 3 we will add 1 to this starting point which is 1 plus 1 which is 2 which is the new starting point of the signal and we will take the ending point 3 and also add 1 to it which will give us 4 which is the new ending point of the shifted signal. So, this is the new starting point and this is the new ending point 2 and 4. Okay, so, let us do the shifting. Okay, so here the new starting point, the new ending point, okay. So this is the shifted signal x t minus 1, it has shifted to the right by 1 unit, okay, by 1 unit, it has shifted to the right. So this is the uh, time shifting operation performed on this signal in both directions ok. Ok, so here we have another uh, signal x t, uh, here we also have to perform the shifting operations ok. So, let us uh, perform the shifting operation x t plus 3 on this signal. So, again the same approach. So, first sign convention plus means shifting will take place to the left by the value which is given the number value by 3 units. So, again what we have to do you pick the starting and the ending points of this signal minus 1 and 2. Then you subtract 3 from both the starting and the ending points. So, minus 1, minus 3, minus 4 is the new starting point and 2, minus 3 which is minus 1 is the new ending point. Okay, so minus 4 and minus 1. So, the shape of the signal will stay the same, it will remain intact, the amplitude the same, all the same, but just the starting and the ending point will change. So, let us do the shifting. So, it is all in the negative axis. So, this is x t plus 3, 0. So, it is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. This is 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, the signal will be like this. So, from minus 4, the starting point will exactly be the same. Okay. Then, 3 yes then downwards and then we'll touch this 
okay so the signal has shifted to the left by 3 units so this is the shifted signal everything stays the same the values the amplitude everything just it has shifted to the left by 3 units with new starting and ending points so this is the whole approach now let us do the other thing in the other direction okay so now let us do the shifting like this x t minus 2 okay so minus sign means the shifting will take place in the right side towards right and 2 means by 2 units so here again you pick the starting and the ending points of the reference signal the original signal and will add 2 to it minus 1 plus 2 which will equal to 1 which is the new starting point and 2 plus 2 the ending point we add 2 also which is 4 which is the new ending point so 1 and 4 ok so now let us perform the shifting so it is all on the positive axis 1 and 4 so zero t x t minus two one two three okay so one two three four so we'll start from one so it is this like this 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 Okay, so this is the shifting in the right side by two units. So the new starting point one, new ending point four. All the, the remaining things they are the same. The shape, the amplitude, everything it stays the same. Just the starting and the ending points have changed. Okay, so here we have performed the shifting operations on some basic signals and some random signals. Uh, I just wanted to acquaint you. Uh, with the direct method where we don't have to use a new signal yt and equate it with this shifted signal because that's very lengthy so you should be able to do this direct shifting just by looking at the expression so always use this method for examinations because there is a time crunch there so practice more and more uh, with more and more signals more and more questions and then you will get a uh, you know you will fall into that habit okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much